Hey, hey, friends! It's so good to see you here today. I hope you can see me and hear me and all that fun stuff. Um, we... Hey! Good to see you guys today! How are you? Uh, this is how to prepare for Q4 in 2020, right? So I, t I wanted to answer some of your questions, of course, say hi in the chat, ask, ask your questions there, but I wanted to give you a what for and a how to with Q4 2020, because things are going to be different this year. I guarantee it, I promise you. So you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to those things, and I'm going to give you the details right now so that you are well aware and prepared for Q4 this year. So I've gotten a couple of questions via email and from our Facebook group as well. So I'm gonna answer those things first. Again, if you have comments or questions, please ask them here and we will get to them as soon as we can. So, okay, how will Q4 be different this year for 2020? Well, the reality is the Q4 is going to be greatly different this year because of the whole COVID-19 issues. Amazon has changed so many things when it comes to um, the storage limits and different things and, and how what you can send in, IPI scores, everything else. But the other thing that has majorly changed is the supply chains. And so there's a lot of supply chains that are that are being, you know, the, they're muddying up the waters right now. There's a lot of factories there behind. Hello, if you've ever, if you have tried to purchase furniture at all in the last six to eight weeks, that's where we're at right now. We're finishing up our remodel and they're saying they're eight to 12 weeks out on ordering furniture that is insane why because all the factories were shut down during covid and now that they're coming up they're they're fulfilling the orders that they received from march until june and then they have to make new orders so everything is behind what does that mean for you for q4 well what that really means for you for q4 is that you need more you need to do a little a couple of things first send inventory in early. I order early. I cannot stress this enough that you need to order product earlier than normal. And the reason being is because it's going to take longer. What's going to change in Amazon's warehouse right now? Merchant fulfilled items are going to be key for the upcoming Q4 season. Now I know we're always all about FBA all the time and you want to do fulfillment by Amazon because you don't want to process individual orders, but I've got to tell you that even me personally, I don't love merchant fulfilling, I'll be honest. But the reality is that Amazon is taking a lot longer to check in items and you want to be sure that your items can make you money. If they're sitting in Amazon's warehouse, not checked in, they're not available for sale, you've just sent them all their all your inventory to take it hostage. So what I suggest doing is sending small amounts of shipments more often and holding some of it back and creating that double listing of a merchant fulfill option and an FBA option. That way you can still do that without dealing with the um, them holding your inventory or and they don't do it on purpose. They're just backed up. They're very, very backed up and they're having a hard time with the um, keeping up with checking things in. They're adding new warehouses and all of these things are crazy. So you want to make sure that you're seeing those types of things and that you're being aware of it. So number one thing, ship items in early. Number two thing, more merchant fulfilled options. If you don't know how to merchant fulfill, we have a YouTube video about that. Go to the Mommy Income YouTube channel and search for merchant fulfillment or fulfilled by merchant or uh, and look at some of those things that we have for you because there is um, some training on that. If you don't know how to merchant fulfill, it's going to be more and more important for Q4 as um, you know stores are closed and things are reduced and is with COVID-19, it's really going to change how Q4 looks to um, for, for 2020. So those are a couple of things. The other thing is the lead times are just going to be longer. I have regular vendors I've been ordering from for like five, six, seven years now, and they are still, um, they're experiencing sellouts earlier on. People are on to them and they're catching up and ordering early. So order, order, order early. If you've not placed Q4 orders yet, if heck, if you have no idea what you're doing for Q4, you need to get the Q4 Jumpstart training. It's only available for the rest of this month. I mean, you can watch it once you purchase the course for however long you want to, but the new 2020 updated version of Q4 Jumpstart is available. If this is your first Q4 or you've really struggled or you're not sure, go to mommyincome.com slash 
slash jumpstart and you can get the Q4 training in there because you're going to need to know how to jumpstart your Q4. But supply chains are interrupted. There are certain products that are just not going to have quantity. This is good news and bad news. It's good news if you're going to um, do some arbitrage and scoop some of those things up early. It's bad news if you haven't ordered yet and you're ordering a wholesale and the, the, the shipments keep getting delayed. <laughs> I have a personal experience with this recently. I placed a really big order um, with one of my vendors and I just double checked it because it's supposed to ship right now and it's actually not shipping until September and then the second one's not shipping till October. I'm like, we're missing the season here. Not And, and some of it is like Halloween based. So that, that's obviously going to be a problem if it's not shipping until October. So um, I reached out to them and said, please cancel this order. This is not good enough. I need to sell this stuff before Halloween, not after. Um, and so that's something. So another common questions that I'm seeing for, for Q4 stuff is... Um, how much inventory should I stock for Q4? Another thing we go in depth in a whole entire section of this and Q4 Jumpstart, mommyincome.com slash jumpstart. Of course, links in the chat if you want to check that out. Um, but we talk more about going wide, not deep. So how much inventory should you stock? Number one, go back to the, F, um, the Merchant Fulfilled tip that I just gave. Hold some of your inventory back. If you bought 200 units of a Christmas item, send in... 60 and keep the other back and see if as it's selling through send in more but also keep that merchant fulfill because sometimes if you notice when people are purchasing their merchant fulfill is arriving faster than than Amazon Prime. Amazon is not actually really offering Prime on everything right now. And they've you know sent emails to those Prime customers saying, we can't guarantee delivery right now. They're literally backed up and behind. COVID hit them hard, just like it hit everyone else hard. And they're still trying to figure out how to work out the logistics. In the meantime, some of us sellers are suffering because of that. Sales might be up, but then inventory volumes are down. So go wide, not deep. What I mean by that is buy more product and less of it because what happens is if you buy 500,000, 5,000 units of one thing, Amazon's setting inventory limits based on ASIN and storage limits. So <clears throat> just a few weeks back, Amazon has put this 200 limit on almost every seller as of um, a couple weeks ago, that was the rule that I'm sure they've changed it per person here and there. But even big sellers have been limited to 200 units each. I mean, some of these people are selling 5,000 units a day, and now they're limited to sending in 200 at a time. What this means is you're going to have to up your merchant fulfill game, but it also means that you need to pay closer attention to your, your inventory sell through. If you sell 50 units today, send in 50 units tomorrow. You don't wait until you're sold out to sell more because why? Amazon's backed up. You're going to need to do things earlier, period. That's one of the Q4 things that you need to pay attention to right now is doing things earlier um, when when you're sending in Q4. I know it's August, right? And you were like wanting to go to the pool and wanting to go on hikes and it's beautiful and going to the beach and the ocean. Yes, but then it's Q4 planning. Like this is your tough love kick in the pants right now. Like after your little beach trip, just like me, I've been going out boating and, and, and doing all those fun things on weekends, but then... But boy, Monday through Friday, I'm really, really um, ordering all the Q4. Yesterday, I think I created 15 listings um, for all for the new Q4 stuff I have going on. And I'm sending stuff in now. Smaller amounts of it, not big, huge amounts of it, but sending in. Why, why, I'm already selling Halloween stuff. Things are moving already. I sold a Thanksgiving uh, centerpiece just a few days ago. Yeah, it's August. So sending stuff in a little bit at a time and slowly building that inventory up is a really good thing to keep in mind. Also, the other question we have is budget. How much should I spend on Q4? Well, it's kind of a little late to ask that question at this point, but it's not too late on the other hand. If you are, if you kick butt for Q4, if, you, if you're if you earning two thirds of your Amazon you know, income, during Q4, then you need a plan to spend two thirds of your inventory money 
on that income that you're earning. You can't earn money on what you can't sell because you can't buy. So from now until all the times where you're sending stuff in, set aside an extra 10 to 15% of your normal inventory for Q4, but do not ignore your replans. Now we go into detail again to the Q4 class uh, in detail with this. The other thing that the number one question that I've been getting in my inbox like crazy is like, when should I send my inventory in? Give me a date, give me a time. When should I send this Q4 inventory? Here's the deal. You need to start shipping as soon as possible. And there are deadlines and dates, not Amazon deadlines and dates, because they never give you any of that. They give you barely any information. My personal deadlines, like not shipping anything past X amount. If you have Halloween stuff today, send it in. Send it in as fast, but the last day I would send in a Halloween related item, specifically to if you wanted to sell before Halloween, would be like the October 1st at the max. That's, you guys know when that is? That's like, what, five weeks away? That's not a long time. So if you have not bought anything, you better get on it. I know I've seen Halloween stuff in all kinds of different stores and we do have a holiday bundle ideas revealed course coming up next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that um, because giving all kinds of holiday bundles and they're already starting to be on shelves. I saw some Costco Halloween stuff the other day and I'm seeing it in Hobby Lobby and some other places. So the holidays are coming whether you like it or not and you need to be prepared. Um, the holiday action calendar is inside Q4. So those of you students who have already taken the Q4 job start class go download your holiday action calendar and put reminders on your phone put reminders on your paper calendar give yourself a sticky note do something because you don't want to miss those deadlines the worst thing in the world is to send in holiday related inventory and then Amazon doesn't check it in for three weeks and then you miss the holiday completely um, raise his hand in shame yes this has happened to me before and it's really a bummer to then have that stuff recalled or disposed of or have to wait till next year to sell that that's really terrible so sending a little bit at a time is is really important so let i'm gonna go back over these really quick if you guys have any questions put them in the chat right now otherwise i'm gonna sign off but these are the things that you need to remember put down on your calendar make a plan for do more merchant fulfill and what does that mean that means stocking up on supplies if you aren't doing merchant fulfill and you don't have you know bubble mailers or you know poly bags or boxes or anything like that you're going to be sending stuff to customers specifically stock up on your supplies get a little at a time spend 10 bucks this week spend 10 bucks next week and then you'll have all the supplies that you need number two is longer lead times Pay attention to how long it takes Amazon to start checking in your stuff and pay attention to your inventory. Ship smaller shipments more often. Go wide, not deep. So seeing those things showing up um, on, in your inventory. See, even Caitlin says here, I'm seeing products showing available five weeks out. Send in a little at a time, but don't skip out on that Merchant Fulfill um, opportunity because people want it faster. They might pay more to have Merchant Fulfill because they want it in, a, in five days rather than this item is available, you know, crazy three weeks. Yeah, Deb says it, that it's going crazy for her the last few weeks. Yeah, Merchant Fulfill is strong right now because Amazon can't promise all those deliveries. So just, this is temporary. I know that a lot of you have signed up for FBA because you don't want to fulfill merchant orders. You don't want to sit and ship every single day and ship products all the time. I get it. I don't want to do it either. But honestly, I don't want to go out of business either. And if this is the way Amazon is operating for 2020, look, everything's different for 2020. Everything. Last year's rules don't apply. This year's rules apply. And this year it's about merchant fulfilling and it's about getting your products to your customers and having happy customers and all that stuff. It is, it, if you want to make money for Q4, if you're not doing merchant fulfill, you're leaving a pile of money on the table. I know it's not favorable. I don't want to spend my entire November and December like shipping merchant fulfill orders either. I don't, but I also want to stay in business. So because of that, this is the adjustments that we have to do. Go take the Q4 class. If your students already, I see a lot of you in here, Caitlin and Deb and some other people, you guys are hub members. Watch the Q4 again, take your notes and get prepared. There's, you have no excuses left. 
you have all the information that you need in order to prepare for a kick-ass Q4 and you can still be making money. You've got all the tips, you've got your holiday action calendar printed and you've got those dates circled and you've got reminders so that you don't forget to send that stuff in. The rest of you that don't have Q4 Jumpstart, go get it, mommyincome.com slash jumpstart to get Q4 and you'll, you'll be able to be prepared. You guys, I just, I care about you and I care about your stores. And I know Amazon seems a little bit upside down right now with all of their policies and processes and their slow check-in times and their storage limits and everything else, but do what's working right now today. What worked six months ago might not be working right now and might not work six months from now. So do what's working now. Pay attention to the changes and adjust your business accordingly. Sitting around and whining about all the changes will not help you. Instead, just be proactive. Say, so what's the best choice you can make for yourself and your store today and make adjustments. Don't be afraid to do Merchant Fulfilled. Again, go to eSupply Store or um, Bubble Fast or even Amazon. Buy some, these are the best. Like I have these in probably 10 sizes. Poly bags that have bubble wrap inside them. Ship these off. You can get boxes from eSupply Store is one of my favorites. Um, they're fast shipping and they have all kinds of products. They low limits. So think about that. You've got all your tips. You've got what you got. If you've got questions, put them in the chat. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Again, have a kick butt Q4. I hope you guys are going to stay prepared and I'd love to hear um, how what you're doing to prepare for Q4. So we'll see you next time.